Good morning, and welcome to your weekly cup of Joe. My name is Joe King. I'm the owner of Physical Therapy Advantage in North Aurora. I'm here today uh, talking to you about um, activities of daily living. This is our second part of a three-part series. Uh, today, our last time, I should say, we talked about getting into the dishwasher. Today, we're going to talk about getting into lower cabinets in your kitchen or wherever you may be, or getting underneath, even making the bed, or getting into um, underneath the bed if you stored some stuff there, wherever it may be, just getting somewhere down lower. Um, so what we want to try to do is decrease some daily irritating factors that might be being placed on your body, whether it be your upper back, mid back, lower back, hips, knees, ankles, whatever it is. We can show you some proper mechanics and techniques to do or some modifications that you can do to break the habits that you've been doing for many years that might be irritating things on a daily basis. It's going to be some nice relief for you. And so hopefully some instant relief. And especially if you do it over time, wow, this feels a lot much better. A lot much better. Not good English. Feels much better on a daily basis for you. All right. So one of the big things you want to do is making sure that you can utilize the counter space around you. It's okay to hold on to something. You don't have to feel like, oh, wow, I can't hold on. If you're getting something that's you need two hands with, much different story. But if you need to use your hands for balance or to support yourself, don't consider that cheating or anything like that. So as we get into those lower cabinets, all right, you're bending down, you're opening that up. Depending on how big, how many, whatever you're getting into, depends on how you can do this in many different ways. You can widen your base of support. You can kind of hold on and you can kind of squat down if you can squat down and get whatever it is you need. A pot top, an actual pot, whatever it is. Or you can put one leg in front of the other kind of in an offset position and kind of do the same thing. And you can kind of put your hand on your leg, hand on the counter and get down and kind of squat down. If that's a little too much on your hips and your knees, you can actually go down to one leg or onto one knee, I should say, in this position. Once again, you're holding on the counter, put your other hand on your thighs, fine. If you can tolerate putting pressure on your knee. But this is a really good one, especially if you're going to get something really heavy, a bigger pot or bigger item underneath the cabinet. It allows you to get two hands, bring it close to you, and now you can stand up, okay? You'll be able to go down. Or, if you don't want to do that method, you can do what we call a golfer's pickup kind of a reach where you put one leg way back behind you and you squat back. So I'll put my one leg back really, really far, all right, whether it's on the ground or not. And then I can just kind of bend the one knee, the front knee, if it's a good knee, and put whatever is your best knee up front and kind of bend from here. My back still stays pretty straight and I can still kind of down and reach. And get the pot what I need. Or if I put it back down, I can go and I can put it back. Hold it on, like I said, for balance, utilizing it to support yourself. Not considered cheating at all, but it's much better than what we would typically see people do is they'll get over the cabinet and they bend over like this and puts a lot of strain in the low back and the hips. And you obviously can't reach nearly as far either. So you're really trying to really struggle at that point in time. All right. If you have any questions about this uh, type of stuff, ADL training, activities of daily living, other things that you may be having difficulty at home with, and you want to talk to a therapist at the clinic, we'd love to talk to you, see if we can help you out and, like I said, decrease those daily irritating factors for you. Just give us a call to clinic at 630-892-8003. Love to hear from you. If you have any questions PT related, definitely give us a call as well. And we look forward to seeing you next week for your weekly cup of joe. Bye.